I was a 20 year old virgin. My whole life was about lifting and about sports and people don't, don't understand that. Like what sacrifices lifters make during, before the, uh, before 92 and before 96, I took two, a year of celibacy. Like my, I, I went and lived on an Island with, with only three people on the Island to train. Wow. If you cannot focus, you cannot lift. And I didn't want to go out or nothing like that. Man, I was going to bed at 8.30 at night, waking up at 6 in the morning and training, walking out into the ocean. The water was like 50 degrees, like after my training. Like it was it was therapeutic. You know, I, 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 I wrote more. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a writer. I'm a mm -hmm. poet. Mm-hmm. I wrote more in that time than the rest of my career combined. The The feeling of accomplishment is worth it. Of course. I've had the ball. I've had the bar fall on top of my head, hit my shoulder, pin me to the ground. Um, you start snatching 400 pounds, which very few Americans have ever done. Exactly. That's a like, big, big number. It's a big deal. Oh yeah. So I took a lot of, I took a lot of pride. I wanted to be the, the the best American lifter ever, and in the, I'm going to be in that conversation every time. Mm -hmm. But man, there was there was other people that made that sacrifice, and I I want I want the the history of of the lifters that came before me to be told as well.